for finding the time response of second order system okay this is the decade resistance box and this is the decade inductance box and this is the decade capacitance box and more operators we are going to require this is the function generator okay these are the function generator and this one is the CRO these are the operators required for finding the time response of second order system okay coming to circuit diagram and connections this is the circuit diagram okay which is the series combination of R L C okay these are the three elements which are connected in series and which are supplied by the 15 peak to peak voltage at 200 hertz frequency and type of the input is square wave input now we are going to make this connection by using the operators coming to connections we have to connect resistance inductance and capacitance are in series okay that is second terminal of resistor this is the second terminal of resistor which is going to connect it to the first terminal of inductance okay this is the first terminal of inductance similarly second terminal of inductance this is our second terminal of inductance which is going to connect it to the first terminal of capacitance okay this is the series combination of resistance inductance and capacitance now we have to apply the input at terminal of resistance as well as second terminal of capacitance the input to the circuit before applying input to the circuit first we have to check the input okay that is 15 volts peak to peak we have to set in the CRO at 200 hertz frequency first we are going to set the input voltage that is function generated terminals as well as capacitor uh, CRO terminals we are going to connect by connecting like this we are going to set the input voltage that is input voltage of 15 volts peak to peak we are going to set okay that is like this here we are going to apply the step input that is step input and we have to make the okay this is our input which is having 15 volts peak to peak i think everyone know how to calculate the peak to peak value that is number of vertical divisions into voltage setting here number of vertical divisions are three that is one two and three and here number of voltage division is five that is three into five is 15 and this is the step input and we have to apply the frequency of 200 hertz that is nothing but we have to apply the frequency with 5 milliseconds why because frequency is nothing but 1 by t that is 1 by 5 milliseconds is nothing but 200 hertz okay we are going to set the time period okay if you observe this time period find out the number of horizontal divisions okay we have to set for five horizontal divisions that is consider from this point to this point that is one complete cycle one two three four we are having only four okay now observe it that is we are having nearly five that is five exactly five number of horizontal divisions that is 1 2 3 4 5 from this point to this point 5 into this time division that is 1 milliseconds totally 5 milliseconds 1 by 5 milliseconds is nothing but 200 hertz okay that is the input value with 15 volts peak to peak at 200 hertz after setting the input we have to in we have to apply the input to the circuit diagram that is in in this probe we are having the input value that is going to apply to the circuit that is first terminal of resistance as well as second terminal of capacitance okay now we apply the input to the circuit diagram 
Now we are going to take the output across the capacitance. That is just to connect the CRO probes across the capacitance. Okay, by connecting the CRO probes across the capacitance, we are going to get the output voltage. That is time response. output across the capacitance that is nothing but time response okay this is our required output value time response value now by using this waveform we are going to find out the time domain specifications those are nothing but rise time peak time maximum peak overshoot and settling time after finding those specifications we are going to find out the transfer function now i am going to explain how to calculate the specifications by using the graph okay this is the response of second order system okay in this on y axis we are going to take the voltage on x axis we are going to take the time period that is time time in milliseconds now for calculating the time domain specifications we have to concentrate on the time axis as well as response okay in first case you have to calculate the rise time okay rise time is nothing but time required to change the response from zero that is time required by the response to reach from zero to hundred percentage okay here okay here rise time is nothing but time required to time required by the response to reach from zero to hundred percentage of its final value okay this is the response Okay, here if you observe, this is the hundred percentage, hundred percentage of the response, and this is the zero. So draw one straight line from this hundred percentage. So we are getting at this point, and this is the zero. So we have to calculate this time division. Okay, that is on x-axis we have to calculate this time division. Okay, approximately we are going to get point two, point two milliseconds. Okay, that is the time divisions. Okay, that is the value of rise time. Similarly, we are going to calculate the peak time. Here, peak time is nothing but time required by the response to reach its first peak. Okay, this is the first peak. Okay, that is time required by this response to reach from zero to first peak. So we have to calculate this time division. Okay, this time division we are going to get nearly how much? Zero, one division on x-axis we are considering one division is 0.1 milliseconds. Okay, we are getting nearly 0 0.01 milliseconds. 0 0.01 milliseconds. That is the peak time value. Okay, similarly we have to calculate the maximum peak overshoot. Okay, that is nothing but from this point to this point is the maximum peak overshoot. Okay, number of divisions from this point to this point. Okay, nearly we are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 divisions. Each division consisting of 2 volts. That is 4 into 2. So, we are going to get 8 volts is the maximum peak overshoot. Similarly, we have to find out the settling time. That is time required by the response to reach its final value and settle within tolerance band. Okay, this is the final value. So we have to calculate from this point to this final value point. Okay, up to this thing. That is the settling time. That is up to this point is the 2.3 milliseconds. So settling time is 2.3 milliseconds. Okay, these are the calculations for finding the time domain specifications in this coming to rise time okay i am taking some wrong value my here okay here rise time is time required by the response to reach from 0 to 100 percentage from 0 to 100 percentage we are having nearly 0 0.01 milliseconds only not 0 0.2 milliseconds now so rise time tr is equal to 0 0.01 milliseconds okay here we are going to get 
rise time is 0.01 milliseconds peak time also nearly 0.01 milliseconds maximum peak overshoot is 8 volts settling time is 2.3 milliseconds okay after finding all those values we have to substitute all those values in the transfer function for getting the transfer function practical transfer function value okay coming to theoretical calculations we already know the values of r l and c okay here r value is 1 kilo ohm l value is 300 milli henry c value is 100 picofarads okay for finding the omega n that is undamped natural frequency the formula is 1 by root l c okay so we study here l value and c value then we are going to get this is the omega n value similarly the formula for zeta is r by 2 into root c by l after substituting all those values we are going to get 9.12 into 10 power minus 3 is the zeta value damping factor value similarly we are having formulas for maximum peak overshoot peak time settling time as well as rise time okay that is c power minus zeta pi by square root of 1 minus zeta square is the formula for finding maximum peak overshoot in this we know zeta value from this one also we are having the okay in this we require only zeta value substitute that zeta value and calculate for mp we are getting 0 0.97 into 7.5 that is 7.28 volts similarly peak time pi by omega d here the formula for omega d is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square okay by substituting these values we are going to get the theoretical value of peak time similarly settling time formula for settling time is 4 by omega n into zeta in this we know omega n value and zeta value then substitute those two we will get the 2.3 milliseconds okay all these are the theoretical values okay similarly rise time pi minus theta by omega d okay here theta is nothing but tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta we already know zeta value substitute here we will get the theta value after finding theta substitute in this formula we will get the rise time that is 4.9 into 10 power minus 4 seconds okay okay these are the theoretical values and these are the practical values from the graph okay after comparing these two we are going to get these values okay that is these are the parameters these are theoretical values and practical values okay we are going to get nearly equal values okay for theoretical as well as practical after finding all these values we have to substitute in transfer function formula okay this is the transfer function formula that is given here i think okay this is the transfer function formula c of s by r of s that is equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square we already got omega n value zeta value okay substitute these two values in this one we will get the transfer function that is practical transfer function okay by substituting those two values we are going to get 3.33 into 10 power 10 by s square plus 3333.3 plus 3s plus 3.3 10 power 10 okay this is the required transfer function and these are the required time domain specifications this is about our experiment time response of second order system